Derek Revy's with the Film Police Minneapolis. Soon that name is going to be changing. But I'm here on Central Avenue and got this uh, piggy sitting here. So I'm going to go over and ask them uh, the questions that they ask. Excuse me, sir. I got a call saying that uh, there was somebody here uh, watching people. You got ID? Do I have ID? Yeah, do you have ID? Officer Lynn Badge number 4155. I, I, that's uh, not relevant here. How do I know you're a cop? You got ID? Because I am in a squad car and I have a badge and, you know. Okay, all that well. Good stuff. Uh, my point is, is uh, you're mistaken, Bacon. Can I check your car? I want to check your car and see if you have any drugs in there. No, you're not checking my car, sir. How do I know if you have drugs? Because I don't. That you don't. Is this a K9 unit? No. No, it is not. It looks like it. No. Okay, well, I got a call, like I said. And uh, somebody said that you were sitting here stalking. Nope, just watching to make sure everyone's driving safe. Oh, uh, making revenue, uh, revenue then. No, I just making sure everyone drives safe. Okay, well you're free to go. I'm not holding. Well, I'm not detaining you. you. Go, sir. I'm not detaining. Get to work. Do some work. You got ID? You got ID? You smell like pot. Can I search you? You got any guns, weapons, bombs? You don't want to talk. Well, I'm not detaining you. You're free to go. Okay, so the bacon is done. Um, it looks really, really good. You got ID? Excuse me, you have ID? Do I have ID? Yeah, you got ID? Can I check your car? It smells like pot, man. You want to check my car? Yeah, it smells like pot. Well, I haven't grabbed any pot. You got anything. anything on you? Can you keep your hands out of your pocket? Yeah, You're making me feel uncomfortable, man. Okay. You can keep filming if I'm going to go deal with somebody right now, though. Yeah, I bet you are. Okay. You kill anybody today? Not yet, huh? Excuse me! You got ID? You got ID? That's okay, you're free to go. I'm not detaining you. God. It sounds like your butt hurts pretty bad. You know, it does, Dana. It really does. Well, you know what? I have some good news for you. There's this new product out there just for this sort of thing. It's called butt hurt cream. Okay. Yeah. Uh, butt hurt cream is, it's like this new medicine and it helps you, it really helps you out when you get a bad case of butt hurt. You know, trolling got you down where thuglicans get into you. Wow, that happens to me literally all the time. <laughs> I know, I mean, your butt really takes a beating. I mean, it's, it's like your butt is really getting worn out. I've never seen a butt take so much abuse. I mean, your butt is like a welcome mat. I get the picture. All right, so all you have to do is squeeze out two fistfuls of butt hurt cream and you just apply it directly to the hurt area. Oh yeah? 
two fists? Yeah, that's all it takes. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, I gotta tell you, I used the cream and it really helped a lot. Good, because you were becoming insufferable. Wait, what? Wait, don't get all butthurt again. But you know what? If you do, use butthurt cream today. Butthurt cream is a topical treatment and should not be used internally. People who are pregnant, nursing, or could become pregnant should not use butthurt cream. Butthurt cream should not be used in conjunction with or supplementary to similar products such as aspirin for feelings, sour grape rash cream, snark guard panty shields, or Midol. If Realistic and real simple solutions. Everything from great deals on vitamins, supplements, and fitness monitors to helpful online tools. At the corner of happy and healthy.